What's up everybody? Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, it's basically my new build Hyperspin. I've built myself what I class as a steam machine. Uh, it's in a micro ATX uh, what, uh, Gigabyte N97 or Z97 motherboard with 16 gigs of Vengeance Pro low profile RAM. Uh, an i5 with a custom cooler, uh, it's a 4790K, an MSI 970GTX 4GB or 3.5GB if you listen to some people because of the VRAM gate scandal that's been going on with NVIDIA in the 970s, uh, an SSD 250GB uh, hard drive for the operating system and an internal 3TB normal 3.5 inch drive and uh, a three terabyte, three and a half inch uh, USB three drive, um, which is where I've got my hyperspin set up. So those that have seen my last video, you'll notice that I've added a few systems, I've taken a few away. Um, it's just a case I haven't got round to adding everything in. Uh, this is not complete, I can't stress that enough. But the reason why I'm making this video, I'm making it now, is because I watched a video today, just randomly came across it on YouTube, with some gimp running the uh, beta version, which is very nice, I've been having a play with it. But it isn't finished and it is uh, still buggy. Uh, he's selling these on two terabyte, five, four terabyte, ten terabytes, uh, and he's selling it, um, which I don't kind of agree with because a lot of this stuff here is free, or at least you contribute to the websites that actually produce this stuff with the, that community, helps keep that community running, and it pays. You, you basically pay, I think, it's sixty quid for a lifetime membership. Might be a bit more than that so and you get a lifetime membership you can access it as much as you want and you're contributing to the people that actually make this shit not somebody who just takes it and sells it okay um so he, he was on there and the one thing that really pissed me off is that he had some pc games on there which would have to be cracked now it's fine to run pc games off an external hard drive or an internal hard drive that isn't your operating system your c drive but there are sometimes problems with that i.e components that need installing on the c drive and in particular grand theft auto that he was selling the new five uh, number five now i have grand theft auto running on mine um i've got it on the ps4 and i've got it on the xbox 360. Um, i did have it on the ps3 but i traded that in for the ps4 version um, it's a good game but if it's crack version it's a reloaded version or codex version then he shouldn't really be selling that that's not what it's about and that's what annoyed me and made me spur me on to do this so I rant over he pissed me off real royally um, I'm just gonna go through a few systems that I've added so 53 minus 3 is 15 my book uh, the PC games are there Xbox Media Center isn't really a system it's just a link to a program so I've added Mugen open bore uh, Sammy's, all of them are very good emu uh, emulators. I've never heard of uh, Open Bore or Sammy's uh, until somebody pointed me in the right direction. Um, I've added uh, more games to the PSP, uh, the Amiga, in fact, a number of systems. DS now is looking quite healthy, it's actually a lot of it is just shovelware. We have still not added that much too because they are quite big files. Nintendo GameCube have added from whatever I had before to now 149, so that's quite considerably more. So I've added a lot to it. I've done a bit of the artwork. PC games have taken me some time to get the artwork, so I've had to do that myself. Um, Sony PSP, um, I've, uh, I've added some games to that. I can't get the, uh, the artwork for it. And I'm still building my Panasonic 3DO after deleting it on a pissed up bender by mistake not realizing what i was doing so i've added lots of roms to the systems but the idea of this now is to show you them working the actual systems working now i can't guarantee when i go into a game that all these are going to work because it's emulator based emulators are not 100 percent, but they you know they get most things working <coughs> so if we start the gamecube i'm going to start some games up in fact i'll let this choose i don't know Uh, let it choose by pressing the select button. I have no idea if this works. Loading game. But one of the things that I've seen when people are selling these drives is they never show you the emulators. They just show you all the nice fancy artwork that goes with it. Um, those that are interested, the fade screen here is done by Simple Austin, who, if you go to his YouTube page, has lots of guides, including a fantastic one to get this running. 
Uh, a lot of the games now run quite well, um, if not very well. I, this is run by Dolphin, and in Dolphin I've actually upped all the settings to full because I'm just an idiot. So that may cause issues in itself. I haven't tested this game, I haven't played Dragon Ball really, it's not really for me. Um, it's for somebody else who likes Dragon Ball. I haven't got a clue what it's about, so when it loads up we'll have a go. Or it may crash, who knows. These are zip, this is why it's taking so long. So I'm unzipping it to my temporary Loading folder complete. on my USB uh, drive, which isn't the best. So a bit of screen shake there. A bit more screen shake. Continue without saving. <laughs> I'm going to have to change that, it does me head in. Every game that you do, you have to format a memory card. I'd rather just have one memory card. So, as we can see, we're loading up. Is that working? Okay. So, again, what I've done there is done let hyper spin by pressing select because I'm using Glutches or Gutches uh, startup script. Um, and I've randomly just let that select and as you see that started up first time Thomas wave is very good emulator so we'll do the same again I can't guarantee it's gonna work so I don't know if all the ROMs work And when I test my systems when I'm doing this I don't test all the games I don't test 30,000 of them it's impossible but I test maybe uh, the games that I like to play a lot of <coughs> just to make sure it's running and always set the emulators up outside of hyperspin then get hyperspin to do this now I can't remember if I've configured the pad for this we'll see. looking good to me well oh the coins have gone in many hunters now I'm guessing I'm gonna need a gun single play animal select black bear. The black bear. I've never played this in my life select weapon black rifle because I've just completed <laughs> don't make me come back here again easy. name entry so it's not very accurate but you can calibrate this somehow can't remember how well I've just put my name in there you go John is my name now. I shall be forever known as John. So, again, randomly selected that game. It's not a game I would go and play in the arcades. I don't know about you. Um, so, Open Ball. Open Ball is an interesting set of games and ROMs. It is basically kind of homebrew, mix and match of different genres. So, let's try this again. Could we be third time lucky? Hyper Final Fight. Uh, the theme, by the way, is not my Loading theme. Game. It's uh, downloaded off the FTP. It is over. The aspect ratio is all wrong, which is why Hagar looks like he's about 75 foot wide. Boom, it's in. I don't think I've actually configured the controls for this properly because you have to do it on a game by game basis, I think. Um, Metro City. A well known crime game. Uh, controls, so I need to look at it. Well, that's three out of three, that can't be bad. playing on the keyboard so um, randomly did it three games out of three we're doing well here let's let's keep moving on then so Cody Cody will just start up it's basically just right. Xbox Media Center I haven't configured it that box annoys me um, but I know you can make it go away I haven't configured it I've only just put this on once just to make sure that it worked um, but there's nothing set up or anything um, so just to show you that it loads in um, you can see all the 
YouTube videos on how what to do to get your free TV and whatnot. But it's nice to have it in hyperspin, I think. So uh, the Amiga, I've not got the box art, uh, the wheel art for this, but as you can see, I've got some uniform wheel art, and I've got it running nicely. It was a bit choppy on my first video, I think. Um, but now I've got all the games, just not all the box art, and it's usually a naming issue, like Agony Demo. I can just change to that, can't I, really? Um, alien Breed there, but not, not there. It's just bizarre. So, you can do that in the hyperlink settings where you just put wheels only. It just makes them disappear. So, PSP! Let's have a look at this one. Some of these games are a bit funny. Uh, a bit glitchy sometimes so uh, I've got 288 or so let's have a look what some of the wheel art not all of it I go through phases and then get bored so pursuit force never played it let's have a look I've got a nice gold version of the P A S P P P S S S P P B or whatever it's called And the frame rate in the corner I've just noticed is from my MSI uh, afterburner. Just like from one of so for, I've got no for internal heating in there, and my fa my graphics cards with the fans off is running 47, which isn't too bad at all. It's such a small, small it's such a small case. Uh, This. It's in such a small case that it, it can get hot, um, and I can't fit the fans in it. Uh, the heat sink on the MSI really, really touches the only millimetre in the actual case outside, so just the So randomly again, uh, never played this game. I think I've heard of it, so sorry for those that actually think this game is really good. One I've obviously missed, but we don't have a PSP. I just found it was always seemed to be trying to do too much. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness mm, the stop. marriage of Sarah Hunter and This is Payback Time! Beep, beep. Do you take this woman and help? Get down! By the power vested in me. Kevin through! No! I love a good wet. Let's get this party fired up! How could they do this? We got an emergency! Don't just stand there, get to work! <laughs> Let's roll! What? That's the odd thing, yeah? Speed's game on. That, just very quickly, you can do all this now. If you look, I've probably got the settings to I want to go to game settings, render mode. Let's try that. Why have I got frame skipping? I never used it. Have it have it on auto. Uh, v sync, no, go on V sync. None. Also, uh, we'll turn this down off for now. Just to see what happens. Okay. So, as you can see, that's not my fault. I don't know what. Okay. What's 
going on? Look at the gate. So, why that happened, I don't know, but you know, it plays. So, it's the emulator um, and the settings. So, if I mess around with it, on the website uh, for the settings, um, it will tell me how to set that up properly. I've just got 288 of them, never mind what else I've got. So, PSP, it loads. Game doesn't play very well, though. Um, it's more of an emulator issue. So, Naomi is another system that I added, which is basically dream gassed in a. Uh, in an arcade, um, so the Dreamcast is well emulated, but it's not 100%. So I'd expect this to be the same. So if we have a look, uh, ooh. sometimes it asks you to wait 20 seconds. So I think this is mouse control. And again, I've not configured these games, and sometimes you have to configure game by game. We're meeting G over there. What? Um, <laughs> can't remember if there's a mouse controlled or joy pack from this mouse control. Reload outside of the screen. <laughs> well, it didn't last very long there. I was playing with my left hand with the mouse, so I was holding the pad. So, you get the idea. It's Naomi again. Take away my game playing talents. Um, you'll see that it was randomly done. Now, PC games, the, I will be honest, are not all configured and they're not all working in here. Um, I just need a bit of, bit of swing, tweaking and tinkering to get to work, but some games do. Uh, like Battlefield 4 doesn't. Just doesn't it stays on high spin? It doesn't load up, and it only loads up anyway the website, the battle log, um, and some of them are not uh, installed yet because I'm installing them on Steam. It's a new system. Um, I'm just not got round to it. I only got my hard drive the other day, so there we go. But this is Project Cars. Now this is a cracking game. Um, I'll go to free practice, I'll change that to... No, we don't have an eye. Uh, I don't know what can so randomly. I don't know if it's my pad needs configuring properly, but it just seems a bit loose. Not the, not this game, but all my games. I tend to play Battlefield online with the pad. So, these are set. I will stop talking now. Fantastic game if you get a chance to get it, to play it. Really good game, it's very Gran Turismo y. Uh, done by a Kickstarter group, I think. So well done them because they made a very good game, it's got good reviews. Um, it's a lovely game to play, to, uh, to look at. So that's my hyperspin system so far. Um, the other systems I've showed you, I just wanted to show you the new systems. Um, but as you can see, they are working. Uh, some games don't work because they're just not emulated. Uh, the best way to find out is to go to the website um, and type in the, uh, the emulator website and see if we've got a compatibility list. Uh, what I've started doing is putting my compatibility list into the hyperpause, 
but I don't think I've got hyperpause actually turned on yet, so not in, in the settings. So thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you want to buy a drive, you're taking a risk for the money. Um, I would rather, I would rather if it was me, uh, have a go at me myself. You know, I enjoy doing it. I find it a bit of a challenge sometimes. It can be irritating, but it's a good sense of. Uh, of accomplishment once you have done it so thank you very much for watching um, on my next video I will uh, by the way all the artwork that I've got there is now all on the FTP I've uploaded it there um, so by all means go into hyperspin uh, slash I uh, will hyphen fe dot com I think it is um, and you can have a look at it but thanks for watching I'll give you a, a little update when I've got some more information maybe when I've completed the uh, Nintendo DS wheel set in about 12 years time Thank you for watching.